So to start, you should know that for Bitnami Cloud Images, the installation directory is opt Bitnami. The folder where the main Apache configuration files are placed is opt Bitnami Apache 2 conf. And each in individual Bitnami app has its own folder inside the apps folder. It has its own htdocs folder where the application files are placed and its own conf folder where its Apache configuration files are placed. Bitnami keeps a separate configuration file for the prefix options, which are used to map URLs to server folders, and the main Apache configuration file, which is the httpd app file. So, in our instance, let's first create the apps folder and the htdocs and the conf subfolders inside the bitnami apps directory. We will call our application example. And let's create the subfolders at once. So this is where the, app, the Apache configuration files will be placed and this is where the main application files will be placed. So we want our application to be accessible at the IP address slash example. And for that, we will create a configuration file called httpd prefix. And we will add something called an alias to map a location in the request to a folder on the server. So in this case, we will map IP slash example to the htdocs folder of our application. So let's create a file. And we will add two aliases, one with and one without a slash, so that if the user types ip slash example slash or ip slash example without a slash, in both cases, the URL is mapped to our htdocs folder. And we will also include the Apache configuration file for our example app. We will include it here and create it in the next step. So we save the file and exit. And now I will create the actual Apache configuration file. In this file, we configure the settings for our application's htdocs folder using a directory directive. I'm going to paste the content from my clipboard just to save some time. You can pause the image to copy it correctly. Now the httpd prefix file includes the httpd app file, but we still need to include the httpd prefix file of our application in the main httpd prefix file. So you can find that here.
So now Apache has been configured and I want to check the page, but there's no index page in the apps HT docs folder yet. So let's create one and then check if the URL loads correctly. So let's restart Apache and check the URL. So as you can see, the page is loading correctly. So now that we have a basic setup, let's set up a small example of a demo PHP application that connects to MySQL. So for this demo, I will use a small open source application called PHP Mini Admin, which I'm going to clone using JIT. And I'm going to clone it into a temporary folder because I only need one file from the repository. So let's move our application to the htdocs folder. So next we need to change the owner of the file to bitnami and the group to daemon, which is the one Apache uses. And we also need to give write permissions to the dream and to the daemon group. So So now let's create a MySQL database and a user for this application. So I'm going to log into MySQL with the root user and the MySQL password, which you can find in a file called Bitnami Credentials. So let's log in. And we're first going to create a database. So now let's create the user and the password. And let's grant the user privileges for the database. And let's flush the privileges. and we can exit MySQL. So now we need to configure the application to use the created database and the created user. So let's open the application. Of course, the configuration of your application could be different than this one. And we can add the user data here. The host is localhost and the default port is 3306. So we save that. So now let's restart Apache.
and that and that check in the browser that our application is working correctly. So as a final check, let's just create a table. So you can see that the table was created correctly, which means the app is working. So that was all. Thank you for watching this tutorial.